you know. Uh, you know. Uh, winning locals is kind of his deal, yeah. so. Yeah. yeah I would have. Yeah. That's what he does best. <laughs> yeah, but we've got some Iowa invaders today. Uh, I'm excited to see how they do. Yeah, hot set alert. Uh, Angelo, you want to switch out? Or you, you can commentate with Angel. Okay, yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I was going to oh, have we, you guys commentate we, again, but... It was kind of nice. We had a full rotation going. Yeah. yeah. So, so, okay. Do I just do one sec? Because I'm... Oh, I'm going to grab my controller. Yeah, go ahead. Is that okay? I don't want to force you. Okay. So what have you got to say about our friend Wilfred Pickles here? Ah, that guy stopped. Yeah. Uh, so Bubby, uh, production, I should say. Can you delete the bot? Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I, yeah, Bubby certainly has the power, but I don't think he's going to want to do that because I know that he enjoys your gameplay, so... Uh, whatever. Anyway, starting this game, one of the is tried and true for most stage, most players. Exactly. Bubby here uh, actually being Dr. P, who, like I said, is from Kentucky, and I don't know exactly if he was right or not, but he certainly is a high level. He's, like, really good. Um, so Bubby, you know, is probably feeling himself a little bit, he got a little bit of momentum going. I don't know, is Wolfram going to stomp it out? I mean, I, I actually commented that uh, Bubby was applying a lot of pressure, um, mm. but like Bubby does, he likes the spaces, like back and forth, back up, put up the wall, fans and stuff, but it doesn't look like he's really kind of deep in the front of the mm -hmm. And that's something that Zelda can sometimes struggle with, because that main tool in neutral is going to be that fan tower, but how much can you do that when you've got projectiles? You don't really get a chance to stay stationary. Against Snake, like at all. You have to be moving target, but when Zelda is charging at Phantom, I mean, she's gonna have to just sit there. And Snake excels at just forcing people to be to be mobile. Um, right. So it's not like she's gonna have time to charge it as much. And I mean, we've only seen it probably like four or five times this, this game so far. Just another opportunity. Bobby quite patiently waited for that nice update. Oh, man, really, that was a call out if I've seen one. Yeah, Bobby taking first blood here. Uh, He's doing a really good job against the Walker Beagles again, who I'm not sure there's number six on three Uh, I don't know. My own state. Yes. But I, I think it is six. Um, so he's no slouch, and he's been ranked even higher before, so... I mean, Bubby just hoping to continue the streak today. Bubby taking the answer. Can he take Welker or take Welker? I don't know, you get his smash tag ID. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, nice back there. Right the double jump trying to... Bubby trying to run around on there. She's looking very slay. And, <laughs> and trying to get that phantom again at ledge. Ooh, getting up right into that rebel for pickle still with a little bit of invulnerability as he's coming off the ledge able to shield it just fine as the pressure continues. Ooh, down tail off that F smash. I can't believe it had more reach. The mileage that Bubby's getting off of those upbeats out of game. People need to be aware of it, need to start adapting. Exactly, and the you know, Wolf was kind of being forced in the corner over and over and over, which is again where Zelda kind of excels, just like throwing out these phantoms and landing with the neutral B. Wolf is struggling right now to kind of find an opening against the character who has an option coverage for a, a uh -huh. lot of moves. Yeah, uh, trying to fake out Pickles there, not getting anything from it. Now we just kind of do a nice neutral. Nice! So I'm putting that phantom out to try to apply some stage pressure or even just cover himself on ledge. Immediately walk up and acknowledging that and say, nah, man, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get you. Exactly, and I think that Welfare Pickle is starting to get his footing a little bit better in this game. The important time here is the Snake Classic. Oh, it's like he's still going. Just jump over, yeah, get yourself back to the center stage. You don't really don't want to deal with that phantom at ledge. Uh, almost anything to take it. At this point, uh, I'm just going to make blind Bobby going for it back here. He doesn't get it. Unfortunate. But I like the idea. I think that's kind of the uh, right idea. The goal for Pickles is kind of adapting and understanding that. Ooh, a lot of risk everything from both players. Lots of fire ends up being quit by the up tilt. I don't think I've ever seen up tilt. I don't, yeah, yeah. Pickles understanding the uh, nuance of that. Never seen it before, Bill. Bubby, you have just opting to go back to stage. You know, that's kind of what's nice about the cell phone recovery is that you don't have to worry so much about where your up is traveling um, and getting hit by, by that grenade. I'm looking for the roll out there. Yeah, didn't get it, fortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, Zelda is just looking for her, uh, her trying to follow pressure at the ledge. Nice grab. Oh <laughs> my god, this man. Ooh, I love that uh, C4, the back air pressure. Let's go down. Oh. 
if you're trying to use the up to make, possibly make it back to stage or even just hold ledge. Uh, using the Nikita there from Rafa Pickles to just cover the ledge as best as possible. And I mean, Zelda has her, her ledge pressure game right, but mm -hmm. so does Snake. Snake is a pressure. Lots of projectiles everywhere. Ledge, center, long distance. Who knows? See, yeah. so somewhere on the stage. I don't see it. Especially on PS2. I mean, so if, it's, <laughs> yeah. if it's on that little, like, the lip of the, um, the stage or just on that perimeter of the the platforms too it's like it can be really scary because you don't see it after the little red blinking goes away i mean i hardly see it after the blinking goes away honestly too, so. as much as uh, as much as i need glasses i don't think i can play this number yeah. with, with, with what i got i need a new prescription yeah, i might see any of them. i would tell the local snake man that i actually can't play against snake it's too hard on my eyes yeah, so oh, i need I you like to go get a different character please <laughs> <laughs> please tell me he respects that yeah I love that. This is very similar to like the people who uh, are colorblind blind and need you to go a different color. Yeah. How about we have like a snake clause too? Yeah, I have very bad vision, please, I will sir. Be on the of this. I will uh, I will be the champion for the people in that. <laughs> it's a new glass of user too, I have yeah. to. I, I... We have right, right. Anyway, because getting on to the second game, uh, I was about to say it's a little bit more easy here right now. Love me with the face press in the center of the space. I really like how well the pickles is using that. Um, B reverse, not gonna do him any favors up there. The last one though. That again, like you said, by beginning a lot of mileage on like the the up B out of shield. Such a good from her out of shield game, which certainly excels. Can't do anything against that up tilt though. Nah, that was just a nice prediction I could say. Oh, oh, oh the cute stuff! It was not on purpose. No matter what. It's really it's All right. <laughs> Uh, never mind, it was I think, um, like you just, you know that, that <laughs> I'm so calm. Um, just after that, I think both of the pickles are starting to catch on that. But he is mostly choosing to roll towards the side of the stage, um, where she can kind of just hold down the fourth there with Phantom. Um, if you're rolling into the stage, she kind of has limited options, as opposed to like, you can really come at her from one way if she's on the side of the stage, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I think both of the pickles are starting to catch on to that and might be getting a little bit more technique here. Yeah, I don't approach that. Don't yeah, not that. at all. And that's what I was telling uh, some of the other people is probably applying that pressure towards himself. Mm. You know, it makes him want to move good with the, the phantom play thing. He's trying to cover up B again. Another one. Can we have a montage of all the up B's are just trying to move back here to, to answer it? And we got ourselves to bed even get Looking scary again on their last stock. Zola takes percent. Nothing at all that Snake can't cover. So we kind of stay underneath, apply that pressure from below, which is just going through a lot, uh, which is just a great area of the so. mm -hmm, Exactly. Maybe we're trying to find a way back in. Medicine is really coming on a little percent. Now off stage. Yeah, I think I think Justin or Welcome Pickles might have heard she's gonna get hit with that strong I got a bear. Cramp from getting to watch that was insane. Oh, oh. I fucking hate that mechanic! Yeah. So is it like air dodges while facing backwards for about time? Really? Uh, every time? Yeah. That, that's kinda of funny. Why is that? I would simply not play Zelda. So we might see a change here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think after that one. Uh, seems like a kind of a character formula. But he might be aware of what happened there. He said that uh, if you're back towards the stage and air dodge, you do down front. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. It happens. Uh, very awkward mechanic. Pickles going his true name, the banjo can do. Hey, never mind. Real. <laughs> Real. <laughs> I don't know if they're his fair share of experience for Banjo and Kazooie, as we do have a local uh, banjo player here, okay. the name of Guy. Guy, okay. But uh, me, I feel like from what I play, I play both of them, but I feel that Welfare Pickles is a different play style um, mm -hmm. compared to Guy, so it might throw Bubby off a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but sometimes it happens. Uh, I also at that weird mid percent range. Right, right. Sometimes you lucky to get out of it. Pickles trying something a little different. I think it's just more so bigger deep joints and more projectiles. Or I guess this one's with projectiles. Not necessarily that her. I think I have to have that there, but. More so Pickles gets the down throws and the other Um. 
start and distract for a moment there. Whoa, it's holding and charging that S Master. Oh, oh. Yeah, it jumps right into the Phantom. Well, I'm taking a first thought. I mean, I don't want to say he's been in the driver's seat all day, but Wolfer Pig was popping in the front and said, Lay, I'm going to put my feet on the pedal. Right. Take that thought. You know, yeah, sometimes with the character like Zelda, if you, like, let go of, if you, like, I don't know, if you aren't in the driver's seat, it can be really so scary to mount some sort of, like, a, a battle against her. Phantom can be so terrifying, you know, it's... Right. It covers so many options. It's huge. Uh, I like what Wolfer is doing. Sharking from below, trying to find Cracker. Get like, working in effort for it. Uh, nice. Okay. Yeah, Wolfer Pickles, you might want to hold on to that, that Wonder Wing uh, for the next Nice. I like that. And also, he was close enough to that the Phantom would just go past them if it were to hit. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like the idea. Unfortunately, Bucky is just going to be holding shield a little bit longer than expected, and no shield break too. Can't believe that didn't heal that back for a while. That, that seems a lot closer to keep, like killing in the system. Nice echo from Pickle. Has it done stage? I I don't really want to deal with that. It's just by his own grenade, unfortunately. But, I like you know, how underneath. I like how he's stalling in the air too. It's just like you don't want to mess with the Phantom. We've seen this situation before. Very terrifying. Oh, I love it! The sky is so good! Oh, Barbie got ledge chopping is insane right now. Good air dodge there. Yep, just holding the ledge, don't get up into that X-Men. Great position for both players. Nice back There you go. And Barbie's doing such an amazing job of just covering as much as possible. And that is kind of uh, Zelda's extra specialty. Um, Wolfram Pickles is doing a really good job of just kind of like weaving in and out between the projectiles and the cover thing. Yeah, as you know, if you jump in against a game thumb, you're just going to get the there to the face. Such a strong move from Zelda too. That's exactly kind of the plan that Bubby is building here as Wolfram Pickles. Again, tries his best to just kind of get in against this phantom. And, I mean, he's trying to find his way in, but at the same time, he hooked up 67 percent from just basically projectiles from across the way. Mm -hmm. he's, he's playing almost like a passive game. Like, it can be really hard to like, punish that phantom since it, it's, again, it just travels so far. But I, I enjoy like how, how he's getting his hits when he can and not forcing it. If you can kind of force yourself against Zelda, it's not gonna happen. Like, it's just too hard. However, yeah, sometimes if you get up in her face, she's just gonna up smash you like that. Taking that last stock, or the second to last stock here on the middle, sitting at a pretty 0% Zelda. 111. Oh, okay. Wonder reading out of that. 3 0 for Welfare Pickles. Great play from both players, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Something <laughs> popping off in terms of. I'm not, I mean, again, like the upbeat he's been doing all day. Yeah. I've gotten yeah. so much mileage. That's a really good confirm for I don't her. know if it's something in the water. I don't know why people are still getting hit by it, but it's, it's working. Yeah. That yeah. really bad, by the way. For Banjo Zelda? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I knew. You knew? I did not. Oh, okay. That is, that is knowledge of 